Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows when we multiply. Same thing three times a times a times a is the same thing as a cube. But this here, this multiplying itself, we have 4 raised to power x or raised to power 3, then equals to 24 on this side. And also, this follows the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m or raised to the power n, this same thing as a raised to the power m n. That is, yeah, this power multiplies and we have 4 raised to the power 3x equals to 24 on this side. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 4 raised to the power 3x equals to log 24 from here. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, put your comment, share this video, and also subscribe. The next step here, we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. That is here, what we have becomes 3x log 4, equals to log 24 on this side. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4, which implies here, log 4 cancelled each other. We have 3 hex equals to log 24 over log 4. Then, next step here, we can express 24 as 4 times 6, which implies what we have becomes 3x equals to log 4 times 6 over log 4. And from here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, it's the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes 3x equals to log 4 plus log 6 over log 4. Then, from here, we separate this into two fractions. As this, what we have becomes 3x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 6 over log 4. Then, next step here, we have log 4 cancelled each other here, and we have one left, which implies 3x equals to 1 plus log 6 over log 4. Then also here, 6 can be expressed as 2 times 3, which implies what we have becomes 3x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 3 over log 4. Then here, this also follows the law of logarithm. And what we have becomes 3x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 4. Then here, we separate this into two fractions and we have 3x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 4 plus log 3 over log 4. Then, what we have here, 4 can be written as 2 times 2, and that's 2 squared. Then what we have becomes 3x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 squared plus log 3 over log 2 squared. That is, 
here we apply the power law of logarithm 2 comes here and also here then what we have becomes 3x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 3 over 2 log 2 that is from what we have here, log 2 cancel each other. We have 1 over 2 here, which implies 3x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 plus. Here we have 1 over 2 log 3 over log 2. Then, next step here, 1 plus 1 over 2, same thing as 1 over 1 over 2, which can be written as Three over two. That is, yeah. All oh, we have becomes three x equals to three over two plus one over two log three over log two. Then, yeah, we apply change of base from where we have log a over log b. This same thing as log a to base b. That is all we have here becomes 3x equals to this is 3 over 2. This so we have 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. Then from here we bring this together as one fraction and we have 3x equals to the SM here that's 2. And here we still have 3 plus log. 3 base 2. The next step here, to remove this 3 here, multiply both sides by 1 over 3. Then also multiply this side by 1 over 3. And that's 3 cancel each other here. At this, we have x equals to 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2 times 3 here, that's 6. That is, the value of x here, we have 3 plus log 3 is 2 all over 6. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus log 3 is 2 all over 6. That is, what we have here becomes. 4 raised to power 3 plus log 3 raised to 2 all over 6 times also 4 raised to power 3 plus log 3 raised to 2 all over 6 also times 4 raised to power 3 plus log 3 raised to 2 all over 6. Then, is it equals to 24 on this side? Then, yeah, this follows when we have same bits multiplying. When we have a raised to the power n times a raised to the power, also same power, we have n times a raised to the power n. This can be written as a raised to the power n plus n plus n, which is 3n. That is also what we have here can be written as 4 raised to the power 3 times 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 6 is it equals to 24 on this side then here we have this power multiply each other and 3 goes here 1 3 goes here 2 we have 4 raised to power 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 24 on this side then here, all can be written as 2 squared, which is raised to power 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Is it equals to 24 on this side? Then this power multiplies. At this here, 2 also cancel each other. We have 2 raised to power 3 plus log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 24 on this side? Then here we apply the, the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power n plus n, this same thing as a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n. 
as this here this becomes 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 is it equals to 24 on this side 2 raised to power 3 that's 8 and then this follows and we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b at this here the same thing as 3 is it equals to 24 on this side then 8 times 3 give us 24 which is equals to 24 on this side that is left hand side is equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 6 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget to step subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now